I just came to a new spot and I was trying to get level. Something really weird was happening with the hydraulic system and now this leg is completely bent. Oh crap, this cannot be good. The slides and the legs both work off of the same hydraulic system. There seems to be something wrong with that because now when I try and put the slide in, the entire rig jerks. I asked one of my neighbors to come out and take a look when I pressed the slide in button and two of my legs on my rig go up <laughs> when I push the slide in. I'm kind of stuck here now because I have to wait for the mobile guy to get here. I've used this guy before and he's really great. So I'm pretty sure he'll be able to figure out what's going on. I hope it'll be easy to fix uh, because I'm anxious to get back on the road. It's been about three weeks, but my mobile guy came out and determined what the problem was. It turns out that there was a valve that got stuck open in my hydraulic system, which runs both the slides and the legs, and that was causing the problem. Now, interestingly enough, I sent a picture of that leg to my manufacturer and um, asked if they'd seen this problem before, and they wrote back that it looked like I fell off some blocks or was on an uneven space while I was leveling and so it wouldn't be covered. Oh, here he is now. So my mobile guy is so good that he actually got in touch with the manufacturer, Lippert, of the hydraulic system and figured out that the valve was stuck open and that was making the legs buckle when the slide went in and got them to cover both things. My understanding is what we have to do today is fix the valve and then he has to take off the bracket for the leg re-weld on a new bracket and put on the new leg. Hopefully that'll work and I'll be good to go. <laughs> so John's about to put up the back legs here. Yep, it's up. So John, I was calling it a valve. You're, it's called a solenoid? Yes. Technically this is a valve and this is a solenoid. Mm -hmm. um, but the solenoid controls when the valve opens. Okay. Well, when it's, that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Except when the stuck. Right, so our valve got stuck. The new solenoid is in. So John, basically now we could put these slides in and the legs wouldn't go up? Correct. Is that the thing? That's it. Hey, that's a step in the right direction. Right. So next step we'll run the slides and just make sure that none of the legs move. Make sure we fix the problem. Cool. And then we'll weld a new bracket on for the back leg. You're awesome. Yeah, Yo, go ahead. Perfect. I don't see anything moving. Yep, you can hear the, the pump builds pressure in there. So yeah, you're good. Look at that shiny new bracket. Did you already weld that? No, it's just sitting on there. I gotta get the, I gotta grind on it a little bit so that it sits at the right angle. It's leaned a little bit too far in right now. I need to grind it so it'll sit a little more straight up and down. Gotcha. Yeah, I gotta go slow because there's just so much stuff already here. When they do it from the factory, yeah. it's just a frame so they can go through and weld it, but with yeah. everything around here, I gotta make sure I don't get it too hot that it starts melting stuff that we don't need melted. I appreciate that. John's been at it out there for a long time. He got the old bracket off and was welding on the new bracket, and then he got a look at the leg that was sent to him by Lippert. Old leg, new leg, old leg. Yep. They're different. They sent him a leg for my model year, but the fittings on the old one and the fittings on the new one are different, so he can't put on the new leg. He's going to stop for a while, run to Tractor Supply, see if he can get the fittings so he can put on the new leg, and if not, he has to come back and put on the old leg so we can level out while he orders another leg. Hi. Were you able to get the part? No. Shoot, so you're putting the old leg back on? Just to recap, I came to an RV park. I thought it was going to be for a short stay. We had to wait for the new leg that was bent 
because COVID delayed the manufacturing of the part. So we waited three weeks, then I had to wait like another two weeks for the guy to be able to get out here and put it on. And when he did come, it was the wrong leg. So we've had to wait another two weeks for the leg to get here. And yay, it's coming this morning. He's gonna be here any minute. He's going to replace the leg and fingers crossed all goes well so I can go boondock again. Rest in peace, old leg. Rest in peace. I'm excited. It was quick. The leg is on and we're going to go ahead and lower it and test it out. It's so pretty. First leg down. Oh, there it goes. Back leg going down. Looks pretty straight. I don't know. Does it look like there's weight on that? No. I don't think it's all the way down. Up oh, there it goes. Oh, look at that. No buckling, no problems. Yay. I'm ready to go. Awesome. No problems? Nope, everything's good. The legs work, the slides work. My mobile guy's on his way out of here. So I'm gonna pack up and head out myself where I can have happy travels and be free.